Hi, pumpkins. So I wanted to have a conversation with you. The conversation is about foster care and foster parents. Um, you may or may not know, unless you follow me on my Instagram page, but I am a licensed foster parent. My husband and I have been foster parents for the past two years, and we've been married for the three years legally, but we've been together for 20 years. So during that time, we decided to take this journey in becoming a foster parent. So really, the conversation I want to have with you today is just that. Small conversation about being a foster parent, but not necessarily the ins and outs of what we've done or the steps or the process we've taken to become foster parents, but really the stigma that I've seen almost around being a foster parent. And I'll explain what I mean by that. So I noticed that when you have children that come into your home, you don't know the dynamic of how it's going to change your actual home setting itself. Because we're already structured in our own home. We already have a routine. But then when you bring in a new person into your home, especially a child, child of depending what age, they're already used to certain things in their own life at that current moment. So for them to come into your home, it's a culture shock in a sense. The environment, the smells, the people, everything is completely different for them. So all of a sudden, we then, as parents, as foster parents, we have to change our mindset because now we then have to cater, in a sense, for that child. And what I mean by that is cater to them in a way that they can understand get some form of normalcy for in their in their life at that current situation. It doesn't mean it's going to happen, but you try to do your best as a foster parent. So again, let me go back to being what I see as being a stigma. What I mean by that is that I notice when I'm out in public and one of our children's misbehave, all of a sudden we get these stares and people look at us from a distance and they they kind of question like what's going on. I shouldn't say they question, but you get a sense of they're looking at you a particular way. And it isn't a way that you feel uncomfortable, but it is a way that you almost feel uncomfortable for them and for your child. And what I mean by that is that they don't know your child's personalities, what triggers they have. And what I, mean, what I mean by triggers is that things that they're remembering, episodes, visions, things for them that may be normal for us isn't necessarily something easy for them to process. So again, when I, when I, I'm going to repeat this, a stigma. Again, a stigma on foster parents because you don't know... If I am or I'm not a foster parent and I'm in, when I'm in public with my child, all you see is that I have a child with me and you make the assumption that either it's a friend or it's my child. And because of that, you then wonder, why am I not implementing some reinforcement to that child when he or she starts to act out? But I can't. I, I can't have this child be viewed negatively because I don't want them to think that other people think negatively of them. And I know that sounds really strange to say. And what I mean that what I mean by that is that I try my best when I'm in public with that child to make that child feel completely comfortable wherever they're at. That's hard to do at times, believe it or not. But then when you then have other individuals who say, well, why can't you control your child? What's wrong with them? Why can't they do this? Why can't they say that? Why are they shy? Why are they hiding? You know, why do they do these things? And I can't explain to you the reasons for that. Because I'm also learning just as much as you are from a first time experience or, you know, encountering that child, but I'm learning along with that child. 
So I can't do certain things that a, I guess you say, regular parent would. I bet, I take that back, like a biological parent would. And what I mean by that is that if you're a biological parent, you have your children, you're able to grow with that child and learn their characters, their personalities, where I don't have that luxury. So now I have to start in a way that's backwards because I need to be able to understand that child's personality and their character so I can help them and understand, you know, did I say something? Did I do something? Did they see something that made them act out? And I don't know. It's trial, trial, trial and error. So again, there's a stigma, like I said, I'm gonna keep using that. It's because all of a sudden, if I have to take off for work, or change my work schedule around because now I have to then cater, not cater, but now I have to help that child during that time or even if they're in daycare or they're in school, I still have to investigate, make appointments, you know, um, have phone conversations with case managers, people who work behind the scenes for our home. But people don't see that. People don't see what goes behind the whole story of myself or that child or children. And that's where I say people have a stigma on foster parents. And again, this may not be the case for everybody. It could just be an isolated situation or, or observation that I've noticed. But what I've seen is that for me, people will make the assumptions, well, why can't you do this? Why can't you do that? Well, I can't. It isn't that I don't want to, it's just I can't at that current time. And it's because my priorities have now changed. I have to then put that child before certain things. Unfortunately, it may, I may not be able to go to work. I may not be able to do any social events. And if that happens, I don't have a social life. If I don't go to work, I don't get paid. And that's just a reality because these are the things uh, I, I'm not blaming the child, but these are the responsibilities that I've taken and my spouse have taken upon ourselves to help that child. So again, you know, why do we have this stigma against foster parents when you don't even know if they are a foster parent? Because again, our approach to helping that child is going to be completely untraditional to another biological family member or parent. It will be. And it isn't that, it isn't the reason f that we need to be completely different. It's just because the dynamic is different. And if you think about it, like I mentioned earlier in the conversation, is that as a biological parent, you've had that opportunity to grow with your child. I have not. So I have to then change everything backwards to get to know that child. Just a thought. Maybe, maybe I'm overthinking this. Maybe I feel like everyone is having the stigma on me and my spouse or my family. But reality, maybe there isn't a stigma. But... I don't know. What are your thoughts? What are your opinions? Leave your comments below and I'd like to hear from you. Are, are you a foster parent? Have you encountered the stigma? Have you encountered where you have to change or cancel events just because your child has a meltdown and then you're explaining to your friend or family member, I'm sorry, I can't make it. Sorry, I can't make it to a birthday party, can't make it to this event, can't make it to this concert. Whatever situation that you have pre-planned, you no longer can make it. Has anyone looked at you any differently? Like, why did you take this on? Why did you make these plans if you knew you wasn't going to go to X, Y, and Z? Well, I didn't know it. I didn't know my child was going to have a meltdown. I didn't know my child was going to be struggling that morning. I didn't know my child was going to wake up two in the morning and pace back and forth. I didn't know that, nor did I plan that. Has that happened to you? Anyways, again... Leave your comment below. Let me know. Let me your let me know your thoughts. Um, how has that impacted your social life? How has that impacted your work life? Yes, granted, you can take FMLA, and that helps you in the sense of your job protection and to care for that child while he or she is in your care. But 
have you felt any stigma around being a foster parent or anyone saying, well, you clearly can't do it because you, you have no life in a sense. I don't think I don't have a life. I know I have a life, but it's just slightly different comparison to other individuals. I don't know. Again, I can ramble, but give me your thoughts and opinions. Um, like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at trulymke. All right, take care, pumpkins. Bye now.